Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a wall furniture. Uh, this is going to be pretty simple and straightforward. So you can do, for example, picture frames or whatever window uh, or object that you might want to have in the walls. Um, this is going to be pretty basic, but if you're interested in more, some more advanced techniques, you should check my Patreon so you can get more ad ad advanced techniques about how to make, for example, uh, wall furniture with more accurate objects or, for example, letters. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff that I'm going to to bring to this uh, patron. This is going to be just for a few bucks a month and you will get a lot of content that uh, maybe it's going to take a while for me to uh, upload it uh, to you into the YouTube channel. So with this being said, let's get to work. Okay, so first of all, uh, what I'm using here, uh, it's going to be the actual uh, furniture wall version 01 blend. Uh, I'm going to leave the actual files on the description below so if you want to use them uh, feel free to you to download them from the drive link. So okay uh, when you open the the actual file you will encounter with this. Uh, this is a, the, the actual um, default uh, windows that come window that comes with the I'm view file so what we are going to do is go to object mode hit delete okay and we can start this process by using um, a plane or a cube I actually use a cube so um, this is going to help us to make it more uh, accurate things uh, also it's really uh, for me it's better to manipulate so we are going to press shift A uh, search for cube right uh, add a new mesh cube okay so now we are going to the frontal view we are going to scale if we hold hold control as we start uh, scaling it down uh, you will see it starts to go uh, um, under the grid so this is a nice trick for you to use as a as a scaled measure so yeah um, what else we are going to do uh, we are going to scale it again but pressing Z so we can Crank it up a little bit. Uh, and if we, I guess we are still pretty big in, in terms of what the, the actual node is. So uh, going back to NumPad 1, uh, as you can see, this, this is the body. We're going to go with NumPad 7, uh, S. We're going to shrink it up a little bit more, holding control. I guess this is, that's, that's pretty much okay for a wall frame, yeah, for a picture frame. Uh, just a little bit on the sides, it's going to be okay. So S, X, and we are going to Okay, in edit mode, we select the this face here, right? If we have this face selection mode, uh, we can select the actual front, uh, the front uh, face. We're going to press I to inset, and as you can see, it's starting uh, to do some kind of. Um, an actual frame around it okay so what what we can see here is that we have our where our picture is going to be okay um, this is the 
actual frame and the back the back we cannot I mean for me it's okay we, we shouldn't worry much about it uh, because it's in, it, as it's going to be in the wall it's not going to be noticeable so we don't need to uh, inset in this place right we're going to place a actual uh, solid uh, texture to it so okay now that we had an inset we are going to extrude it down a little bit so if we position the actual camera and on it on this uh, position here and press E we can see we can we can actually give it some depth to to our frame uh, also what we can do if we click on the frame holding shift right and we press G Z we can pull it up a little bit and we are having ourselves a picture frame okay so this is pretty much what I wanted to do um, this is pretty straightforward and really simple way to make a frame uh, but you can give it up your mind uh, to do really crazy stuff for example uh, for example if we want this to be a picture frame for our wall okay but what if we want to do for example here another thing right uh, for example if we want um, some kind of a bookshelf in here so this is pretty much what we we are going to do go back to object mode uh, add another cube shift a cube right we're going to shrink it up okay move it to a side pressing G X okay and as you can see no. Uh, G Y, and we are going to use the numpad seven so we can have the view from the top. Uh, we are going to use G Y. Okay. No, we are going to scale it on the Y axis. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe there. G y s x so we can do like some kind of a bookshelf right right next next to it so we press numpad one so we can have the frontal view this is really really on the floor so try to picture yourself as you are working uh you know uh, actually building something in the floor of your house uh, so this is maybe the way that you can picture yourself how to um, you know create this stuff okay and you're going to shrink it up a little bit more on the z-axis so I guess this is going to be okay okay so now that we see here we go this is a really weird looking um, view <laughs> I know sometimes it it's going to make you feel some kind of uh, awkward <laughs> it's going to make you feel like uh, your your Kind of lost but this is because we are actually looking from the the you know the camera is um, actually focusing from from the top so okay you can see we have our bookshelf here we have our picture frame uh, we can also add some books right if we want 
we can also do it uh, from here, from the bookshelf. If we go to edit mode, selecting the bookshelf, right? We selected the bookshelf, we go to edit mode, and now we go control R. For example, we can do three or four. Um, we have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six look cuts. Okay, that's going to work. Okay, we do the look cuts. We are going to hold Alt and select the look cuts. Shift Alt, the other look cut. S, X, right? So Alt, click. Shift Alt, click. S. X and we can do this. Why we are doing this? Because if we press now G and move it to this place here, right? Uh, we are going to strut it out a little bit, these two faces, right? So we can do a book here, right? Then another book here. All right, so you get the idea of what we are doing now. So we go again, Alt, click, Shift, Alt, click on the look cut, S, X, K, G, X, move it up a little bit here, okay, we are good. So now we go to, as you can see, for me to select the, the, the look cuts, I was in the ads edge selection mode, don't forget that. Now we are going to the actual face selection mode. Uh, click here, hold click, hold shift click on these two faces and we are going to press E and Y. And now we are extruding our books here. What else we are going to do is going to press G, X, so we can tilt it up a little bit to the side because every, every, maybe select this two and press G and X to tilt it to yeah to tilt these books uh, to a side right so it's kind of a looking thing of a book getting on top of the other you can also put something here for example plant or do something quick I don't want to uh, take much time on this tutorial so it's it doesn't get so boring because yeah and, and and long right so this is this is what i wanted to do it's something quick something uh pretty um fast thing to do so okay once we are done with this uh we are good to create the uvs but actually what we can do right is join this together so if we click here on the object mode we click on the on the bookshelf we click on our uh, picture frame right uh, and we go control J we join them together and now they're just one object okay so we are going to edit mode and in here uh, what we are going to do is go to face selection mode, select this uh, actual frame, 
right? Uh, and we are going to give it a material and a spot on the UV and graph. Okay, so we want this picture frame to be, um, you know, this place, this actual face here. If we go to solid mode, um, remember that our colors were because I was using the material tab. Okay, but you will get to, you will get used to it if you <laughs> work with this uh, kind of workflow. I, I didn't notice that. Sorry, sorry about that. So okay, uh, this is why it it, it showed uh, a little bit different. Uh, maybe if you're, yeah. So okay. Um, so we want this uh, actual frame to be a picture. Uh, I don't know for a, for a room or whatever. So uh, what can we do now? Uh, we're going to. Uh, open this parallel window, right? Um, go into UV Editor, okay? Select this face, press U, and grab. And we're going to give it an image. So we go to Image in the UV Editor, Image, New, here. We're going to name it uh, Picture. Uh, we're going to give it uh, width uh, uh, 256 that it's the um, so it's going to be like more uh, you know 256 from wide and of height uh, 512 this is so we can have uh, the alpha I'm not going to use the alpha okay so this is going to be our uh, actual frame for our um, for our uh, picture. Uh, you can you can change it up. I mean, we can use uh, an actual um, image, a square image, if you want. That that will depends on on everyone. In, uh, this is going to depend on you. Uh, it's actually something. Uh, that you might want to have in mind when whenever you you create the UVs. So yeah, uh, okay. So this picture frame it's kind of a long. So we are going to create in this material tab, no material properties, create a new material, new, and we are going to name this picture. Okay, assign, we assign it the actual picture to this and to this uh, object. Oh, and remember, you had to give it a an actual uh, number. So we're going to name it 01. Okay, great. So now that we have our picture material for um, this uh, actual picture frame, we need the frame to have another material that it's going to be, for example, wood. So, yeah, I'm going to leave this tutorial for now so we can move on and do another uh, tutorial for the UVs. It's not going to take much time. Uh, it's also going to show you a few tricks of how to manage the actual materials and Maybe uh, as it's going to be quick, uh, we are going to take it to the actual IM view uh, after. So, uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this uh, video. Uh, if you have any doubts, uh, leave it on the comments. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. So I'll see you on the next video.